morning, everyone. I hope everyone's doing awesome this morning. Excited about this day and um, ready to go to church like I am. If you are heading there today, if you haven't, or went yesterday to um, get fed the Word of God and to worship our Lord and Savior. Um, anyway, I want to share this quick word with you here. It's a very powerful um, verse and um, it's really a discipline that we need to focus on daily. It comes out of Philippians 4.8. And it reads, And now, dear brothers and sisters, one final thing. Fix your thoughts on what are true, on honorable, and right, and pure, and lovely, and admirable. Think about things that are excellent and worthy of praise. Um, wow. You know, in this passage, guys, the Apostle Paul is saying to us as believers that we need to take ownership of our inner dialogue. And I believe that he recognizes, like we need to recognize, that we are going to rub shoulders with ungodly people every single day. Um, we can't avoid the world or the effects of sin on the world around us. However, we can choose what we allow our minds to dwell on. So we need to take responsibility for what we think and deliberately focus on, like the scripture says, again, Things that are true, honorable, right, lovely, admirable, excellent, and praiseworthy thoughts. What a, dis uh, what a difference this discipline will bring into our life when we do focus on these things. If we would only apply this strip scripture to every area of our lives, we would, re we would then reconsider what we dwell on. That's why it's so important not to allow ourselves to dwell on things that are contrary to God's word. So we, are so we ourselves are not caught up in these ungodly things. As we, as we continue to dwell on what is true, honorable, right, pure, lovely, and admirable, it will truly transform us, guys. So let me encourage you today to do what Paul asked us to do, to spend a few moments visualizing yourself Correcting these negative attitudes and instead see yourself thinking on each of these attributes that Paul described. And set your mind let your minds dwell on the good and not be drawn into those things that would consume us, depress us, and perhaps even tempt us away from God and His Word. Well, guys, I hope that encourages you like it does me. I encourage you to read this every day, to focus on these things, these disciplines, and not the things of this world. Have an awesome day. Know that I love you, and know that I'm praying for you.